Hi, I'm Paula Storm. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. So here we are at the Rose Hill Stitches and Crafts Show and I'm joined today by Caroline from Handy Quilter Australia and she's here to launch the brand new Handy Quilter Simply 16. So, Caroline, tell us a little about, a bit about the Simply 16 and how it came about. Okay, so the Simply 16 has been developed by Handy Quilter because what they found was a lot of customers were coming around to the stand and saying, well, they'd really like to have a long arm, yeah. but they don't have the space mm. and they don't have the money. True. So they, yeah. they thought, well, what, why, don't we, why don't we develop something that fills that, fill that space? So we actually have this little foot frame, which is just over five foot, five foot in length, yeah. and you can quilt any size quilt on it. Oh, so even a king size quilt? Even a king size quilt. Yeah. The whole frame is like a big embroidery hoop. Okay. So all you would do, you just move your quilt around, stitch within the area you've got to stitch, mm -hmm. and then when you've done that bit, you unclip it and move it around. Okay. So it's really versatile. You can you know, turn your quilt any which way you like to, to quilt. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the question I get asked a lot is, can I, I already own a Sweet 16, can I put the Sweet 16 on this frame? Yes, the answer is yes, you definitely can. Uh, you will have to get an upgrade kit, okay. and so that upgrade kit, and then you have to buy the frame. So yeah, what happens is it works out a little, little uneconomical because really, for less than that price to upgrade your Sweet 16, you could purchase this machine. And also, it's never going to be the same as this. It is a Sweet 16 on the frame. It's not a Simply, which has all the, fe the rich features. Okay, so you would need to add the, the carriage and all of the the, the carriage. And yeah. There's balancing systems. All that sort of stuff. Yeah, so it so is. A, it's a, it's quite an expensive kit to yeah. do it. And then the other thing is that once you've actually done it, once you've moved it to your frame, you can't just keep. You can't just take it back and put oh, it on your okay. frame. Oh, okay. So you can't switch right. it back to. So the you table. can't be switching between each other. Okay. It's just you either have it as your suite mm -hmm. or you actually bring it onto the frame. Okay. Beautiful. Now, one of the other questions I wanted to know was, does it have the same sort of stitch regulation that the Sweet 16 has, or is it different? It is a little different. Yep. Like, the stitch regulation on the Sweet 16 is a separate unit that sits on the side that you move at the same time. Yes. This has stitch regu three, uh, two types of stitch regulation. We have precision and cruise. Okay. So precision is a mode that will move when you move. So it's perfect for rulers and stuff like that, because if you, if you stop, to move the ruler, you don't have to press stop, you just, as soon as you stop the machine, it will stop stitching. Okay. Cruise is really great for applique as well, um, so it, it, the needle will continue to move up and down and you mm -hmm. just you just move so around keep, the applique. Keep moving, but, keep it, moving. but the stitches will still be the same. Still be the same. Okay. So I can move as slow or as fast as I want yep. or as I feel comfortable and I'll have perfectly regulated stitches, which is what every quilter wants. Absolutely. Regulated stitches. Absolutely. And of course it still does have a manual mode, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, by, directed by st speed. Yep. So if you wanted to do pebbling or something mm -hmm. where you, it didn't matter what size your stitch was, mm -hmm. you could just um, put, it onto, put it onto manual. Okay, fantastic. All right, so Caroline, I wanted you to tell us a bit about the frame and how you, your load of built, but also I wanted to know a lot of my um, questions I get are about rulers and how to use rulers on the Sweet 16. Can you use rulers on the Simply? You certainly can use um, rulers on the Simply. You have to purchase an accessory which is called the ruler base. Yep. And it's very, very easy to put on. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to put it on before we load the quilt because obviously that's easier. Yep. So you put it over the top of your three your three throat and there's some... Um, no, I'll put it on shortly. There's some little grooves yeah. here. Yeah, there's little grooves here. Okay. Well, let me grab that thread with the album. <laughs> So we lift it up on an angle and we get it lined up with the two holes on one side and then just gently manipulate it over. Okay. And what it's done is given us a little table so actually when we're putting our ruler down there's something for it to lean on. Okay, the other thing I wanted to know is how far, how much room do you need around the outside of your quilt to leave so that it can get to all of the sections of the quilt? Well, basically we would suggest six inches around inches of uh, extra backing and batting all around the outside of your quilt if you get loaded on and you want to stitch from the edge. But if you happen to not be able to do that, it doesn't matter because you could actually stitch a little bit and then turn it. So that little section that, you, that didn't fit at the top, you can stitch down the side. So if you really, if you want to go row to row, I would say six inches. Okay, fantastic. All right, so we've got a, a yep. very large quilt here that I wanted you to show us how you load it. Yep. And I'm not going to help because no, 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 I want to show, I want to show you how easy it is. It is. Okay, yeah. so this is our quilt here. Yeah. And what, what I start off with is we need to put it underneath the needle. Uh -huh. And I'm going to flip the bulk over here for a second. 
and we're going to come around the side here, come under the needle. Okay. And I'm going to give myself a bit of space up this side. So you don't need to clip all four sides, it'll work with two or three sides clipped. Okay. So I'm going to bring it up to about here, coming in about, I don't know, six inches over here. Uh -huh. And we're going to put one of these easy grass so clips. So yeah. what are they called? They're the they're easy, the easy grass, grass clips. clips. Okay, so yeah. and they've got a foam handle, so they're easy, so easy to handle. And mm -hmm. I'm just going to put click one down on top, so I've brought the fabric up and over. Okay, and you've got that straight up. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you've clipped that on straight up like that. I have, yep. What happens if you go like that? You can do it like that. It yep. just gives you a little bit more tension. Oh, okay, the, so that's the, useful. Yeah, we can, yeah, if we need to move it down, see, that's actually... Oh, you can't see it. We'll do it on the other yeah, side okay. when I get around. So I'm going to put the pole here. So you've actually unclipped the pole I've there. I've unclipped the pole from its little nest. Yeah. Nest. Yep. Yeah. And I'm pulling the quilt and putting it and just clipping the quilt back up there. So you can see I've left a little bit. We could probably do with a little bit more fabric up here, mm -hmm. but I think it, there's enough there for the clamps to clamp onto the quilt. Okay, and you've got all this quilt down here, so what's going to happen with that? Nothing, that's just out of the, just hanging okay. down out of the way because we're not going to quilt with that at okay. the moment and that's that's the beauty of this machine. Like, mm -hmm. it's, we're just going to leave that there and we'll move up to that when we're Okay, ready. perfect. Okay, so then we'll continue to clip. We only really need about four clips along the back here. Okay. So it comes with six of this okay. side. Okay. Alright, so you've done the back, you've lined up the, the back. back, so yep. what do we do then? And then what we do is we've got this, this is our super clamp. Okay. And I would I just... just Clamp this one on in front of at this side, and then one more over here to give us a bit of tension, and another one over here. So one thing I'm noticing is this is not really taut; it's not tight like I would expect from a longer. Exactly. So no, it, it doesn't it doesn't need to be drum tight. Okay. It'll stick on. You know, we don't want it really really tight because it'll it'll stretch. Okay. So if we just have a little bit of play in it, that's mm -hmm. perfect. All right, and the other question is, how do you baste your quilt? Because obviously you've got all the layers together. Mm -hmm. How do you do yeah. that? Well, there's a couple of different methods. Mm -hmm. This one here I've done on one of our long arm machines. So I've mm -hmm. got a big basting stitch all the way through. Uh -huh. So I've rolled it onto a long arm and basted yeah. it. The other options are you've got spray based. Yeah. So lay it out and use very sparingly your spray base. Yes. Uh, you can pin it mm -hmm. on the floor. Which is a bit hard. Yeah, I've actually hard. done a video. So there's a video on my YouTube channel which shows you how I spray base using an ironing board. So really simple. You don't have to get down on the floor, and it holds those layers together oh, yes, beautifully. I have used your method. Works yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. Okay. So then, what do we do? So we're ready to go. So we're ready to quilt. And now that you've got all that loaded up so beautifully, I'm going to be a real pain and ask <laughs> you to move it. So how yeah. would I then move it to work on another part of the quilt? Okay. So let's say we've stitched this section and mm -hmm. we want to go up to that section. Yes. What I would do then is just take off the ones at the front and the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move them out of the way. Because what happens up here? You've got all of this quilt. How yeah. Do you so I'll show you how to drag okay. that. So we'll take. We'll take one off here, and if okay. you can help me pull and take those take two these ones off. off. So these right. are really easy to come off. Yeah, I've found if you just grab it at one end and lift off one side, it comes off really quite easily. Yeah, yeah, they are easy. Okay, okay. so then what I would do is I would unclip here at this pole. Okay. And I still notice here that I still have I'm one still clamp one on. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is then oh, you just slide it along. I'll have to take it out at this end as well. Uh -huh. But I can just pull the quilt. Yeah. Through. Well, <laughs> Oh, we've just caught it on yeah, the Yeah, we thread. just caught it on the basting thread, it's okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay, okay. so we'll get that out of the way. Yeah. So you're just going to slide that down. Slide it along. Until we've got about six inches up here. Yep. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay, so then we take the, the batting and the backing back around the pole, is that right? That's right, backing and batting back around the pole, and, and I'm clipping clip my in. side. Okay. Okay. And so then this needs to be pulled taut. Yep. And then clip that in. Do you need to, I know that there's a switch here to tighten There that. is, you, you can that? lock it if you like, but I mean, you might forget. I think it's yeah. just, it, it doesn't come it's out not if essential. it's not necessary. Okay. You don't have to lock it, but no it's, it is there if you want to. Uh -huh. I suppose overnight if you don't want it to come don't out. Don't want it to move. Don't want it to move. Yeah. So then we okay. would put these on, yeah. and then here we go and baste again. So wow. I think if I'd spray baste it, maybe I'd come down and do a... Yeah. Uh, stitch around the outside, the outside but when I've actually machine based it I've zigzagged it all okay. the way around. But that's an option so when you move it you could just stitch a straight line or a zigzag line down the side of the quilt just to make sure yeah, it's Yeah just to make sure it's nice and flat. Okay yeah. fantastic well that looks great. Anything else that you think we need to know about hooping? 
I don't think so to start off with, but I yeah. think what we should do is actually move the quilt up so you okay. can see what to do with the bolt. Because okay. actually once we move the quilt up, we're going to end up with all of this part that we've just quilted is going to end up up there. And so I That's need to right. show you what we're going to do okay. with Okay, because on a long arm you actually have to roll Yeah, well you would the... roll it. You would roll it. So okay. we can't roll it. But we don't do that on this No, machine. we don't do that on this Okay, machine. so let's have a go at that. So okay. let's move the quilt up. No problem. So we'll just unclip it again. We have to take all of our clips off. I might okay. actually get you to help me. Sure. But it is easy to do. Oh, yeah. yourself also, we just take the clips off. All right. Okay, so do we take this out? So yeah, unhook and then we'll just pull. So if I was okay. by myself, I could still pull it. I'm just yeah. using... So just do one side yeah. at a time. you could just pull one side at a time. And okay. then you could line it up. So, okay, I'm up to about there. All right, and then I'm going to push it into this side. Okay, and, and I've got my pole in there. Yes, but we might take your pole out, okay. pole out for a second. So we, okay, yeah. we need to pull it tight. Yeah, okay. we need to just pull it a little bit tight. That's yeah. it, and now we can jam pop it in. in. Okay. Now, okay, we leave now we're left with all of this bulk. So we're left with the bulk. So we leave the bulk at the front and okay. we go along and put our clamps on. Okay, no worries. So we put our four clamps. So we've just got four across the back. Yep. Okay, so we can use the extra ones on both sides now because yep. there's extra here. Extra. Okay, so, so now we've we got this bulk and we do have these other little clips. Okay. And these little clips, what we could do, we then roll up our quilt. Okay. We could roll it, we could concertine it, whatever's easier. Okay. Roll I like the rolling because it gets it all... Yeah, neatly roll out it out. Then we use this clamp and we put it around the bulb. We've got two different sizes. So we actually, I put the big one on, but okay. you get small ones. So then, yeah, we've got the three big ones and three and small ones. And three small ones, yes. So then we can just click that around. And, and yes, so and we actually put it, it through the, the handle. Put it through the handle because we don't want it to clip. Um, to the back of the quilt because it'll get caught under you, like it could get caught on your okay. on your machine. Because there the is like a rubber stopper on the bottom of these clamps, and so that um, that may get caught on the machine as you're moving. Yeah, so side when side. you then you won't get the nice glide for okay, your. So you need to keep them out of the way. But there's a lot of room there for a lot of quilts. Yeah, so a lot of quilt, quilt. 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 You could do yeah. a big quilt if you're going left to right, but again, if you got to the middle and you had lots of bulk, you have the option to just flip it. Yeah. Okay. But you, there is enough in these clamps to get to the whole thing. Yep. Okay. Yep. And so then you would just put that super clamp on the yep. front? Yeah, you would put your super clamp on at the front. Mm -hmm. And because we're at this side, and I've got quite a bit of stuff over there, yep. we can put a clamp on either side. Yep. So that to me looks really easy to manage yes. on your own. So yep. Um, that was one of the things I was most concerned about when I heard about this machine was how to load the frame and thinking that it wouldn't be as easy um, as it is to use on a long arm, for example. Yeah. But I actually think, for me, personally, this would be easier to use because I can work on all those different parts of the quilt. Yeah, it is. It definitely is, um, it is perfect for that. And it's yeah. also perfect for if you are quilting this quilt and you think, well, Oh, I've had enough of quilting this one, I want to quilt another one. And I can take it easily off the frame and put another oh, one on. that's right. So when you, so for example, if um, you're doing customer quilts and you need to do one urgently, you could take this one off without um, finishing it exactly. and put another one and on. And put another one easily. on, exactly. Yeah, it's okay. so easy. So with a long arm, it's a lot harder because you have to pin it and roll it on. Yep. Um, so this is a lot easier for swapping yeah, and changing. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so we've done a really big size quilt. Mm -hmm. What about smaller pieces? Yep, you can do any size. So okay. I've got a couple of smaller ones, so we yeah. can we can yeah, see let's how we go. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking would be difficult is a small piece is not going to fit to the end of the hoops. Does that matter? It doesn't matter as long as we've got two sides. Yep. Clip, clamped. Yep. We're fine. So that's enough tension. Enough tension. Yep. If you really feel like you need a bit more tension, you could purchase some um, bungee clamps from your dealer and okay. you know put a bit of Velcro here and use them to to pull it out that way. If so you that feel just it clamps onto the quilt, it clamps onto the quilt okay. and goes to the side. Yep. But I have found that this machine is so much so easy to use mm -hmm. that I can <laughs> steer it with one hand yep. and then I could hold the side of the small okay. quilt and get a bit so of tension. You can hold it out for tension yeah. Yeah. But as I said, because it doesn't need to be drum tight, it actually sews quite nicely. Mm, even even though it feels stitching. like it, it'll feel quite awkward because you know it's a little bit free. But yeah, because there is quite a lot of yeah. Um, of, I don't know what you call it, but there, it's not tight at all. There's a lot of movement here yeah. in that quilt. Yeah, and that's you're saying that's okay. That's like that. certainly perfectly fine. To okay. Yeah. And how close to you can you get? So how big? Well, because you've got the top of the machine, so this is a 16 inch frame, so we'll come to about here, you probably lose about two inches, okay. which is normal on any long arm, because yes. once you start rolling your quilt at the back here, 
it takes it, it takes it takes some of your room. Yeah. Um, but, but this you one, get quite it, close to the top, though, can't you? You can. You can go right right to the top. Yeah. Yep, so you're not really losing any space there. Excellent. Okay. And at the sides, okay. you've got the side of the machine, uh -huh. so you can only go a certain way over. Okay. So sometimes it's nice to give yourself some sort of reference, so you know when you're nicely quilting. Mm -hmm. You could put a ruler here. You could put a tiny piece of blue tape. Okay. Just, or you could put a marking. Or use your piecing, use as, a piecing as a guide. Yeah. yeah. So I would say, okay, I can only stitch to the bottom of that. Yep. that row mm -hmm. or I come in here and focus on doing this section okay. so that 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 is something that you have to be aware of because yep. it because it is a hoop yes so you are you, you can only go to that side you can go to that side and go to there but it still is quite a big area to it, it's a huge there. area yeah and because it's so easy to move I think that's a big benefit actually. exactly yeah exactly. okay let's take, get this machine turned right. on and we'll have a go maybe yep. we'll switch out to the smaller piece oh yeah let's switch we'll out to the smaller stitch. switch okay no problem great all right so the show's open now, so it's starting to get a little bit noisy, but hopefully you'll still be able to hear us. Okay, so we've put on a small piece on this quilt, and you've got, you haven't clamped it on the side, so you do have that bit of looseness, but you're saying that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. It's perfectly fine. I could even stitch over to here, and it really is not going to go okay. I mean, I have the ruler base on, but it still wouldn't, it still would stitch nicely. And you can still give it a bit of a tug, a bit of a tug if you need to. to. But as I said, if you really feel like you need that, we, you, could, you could actually purchase some extra. Okay. And so where do you start? How do you start? Do you need to bring up your bobbin? Yep, yep. So what I've got here was I'll just give us a bit of thread. So I'm going to put out my needle up and needle down to bring the bobbin thread up. Mm -hmm. Pull it up to the top. So that button to put your needle down is actually on the handle? Yes, it's on the left and it says okay. up and down. Okay. So we're just going to press it once. At once to put the needle down, once to bring it up, and you'll see it bring your bobbin thread up. Yep. And you just pull that. And Give it a tug. Yes. So the same as you would on the Sweet same 16. Same as you would on the Sweet 16. And I would always give it a hold on to it to, to give yep. it a start because we don't want to go back in the machine. It's just always a yes. good Bit thing safer. to have your needle. It's a good habit to get into, isn't yes, it? Yes, definitely yep. a great habit because then you know that you've got hold of them and you know where they are. Okay. Okay. So now what are you, are you using the stitch regulation? Yes, so I've got it on stitch regulation, I've got it in precision. That will mean okay. that it'll only, it'll only stitch when I move. Right? Okay, so with the other type of stitch regulation, the needle goes slowly even when you're not moving. Yes. But in this this version, it doesn't move at all? It doesn't move at all until I move the machine. Great, okay, so let's let's hear it. All let's right. hear so how quiet it is. I'm going to button, which is on the right hand side first, but uh -huh. last button on the right hand side. Okay. So I'll give it a bit of a back stitch. Okay. So you can hear it, and then yep. I would stop. So I saw that you were just using one hand to move that. Is that how light it is? That's how light it is. Yeah. It is so, so light. Uh, it just doesn't, I could move it with one hand. I don't think you need a, um, you know, a really tight grip on it because that's creating tension in your body. And when yes. you quilt, you need to be as relaxed as you can. So, okay. You know, practicing even with one hand just to get that flow and that movement. When people get nervous, they tend to, you know, really grab a, really on, grab a hold. But white you know, knuckles. <laughs> you just need to, like, I could seriously just push this with one hand. Oh wow! You know, just to move it. That's how light. So it you're is. not even really holding on there. You're no, just... I'm just giving it a push this way and a push that way, push this way. Just. You know, that's yep. how easy it is to so move. It's really and I haven't light. turned it off, and okay. it still hasn't actually, it hasn't started stitching again because I'm not touching it. Okay, so can we just move move around a little bit and show just how easy it is to yeah, quilt sure. with it? And we want to hear the sound of it. for quite a while. How long do you think it took you to get comfortable with this type of machine? Well, I suppose I've been working for Handy Hall since, uh, you know, March last year, and I had a sweep. So this is a lot different to stitching on a sweep, because mm -hmm. you have to pull a different way, and really didn't take me that long to adjust, but I'm still not perfect at quilting. I have certain <laughs> um, 
patterns that I can do. And it's just all about practice. We've all here have heard it before. It's just practice, practice, practice. It sure is. So you can see how light it is. I'm just going to do some swirls, uh, a, bit of, a bit of stippling. And it's as easy as that. I mean, even the best part, you could also like practice just doing writing, writing, writing your name. Like that's a good way to sort of feel, get a feel for the... Because you know the pattern, you know what comes next. Exactly, you know what you're doing. Okay. There we have it, the brand new Simply 16 from Handy Quilter, available now from your nearest dealer. Thanks so much to Caroline for joining us and telling us about this fantastic machine. Join me next time when I take you through some of my favourite things that I found at the Rose Hill or Sydney Stitches and Crafts show. That's next time and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep the videos coming.